Amber Moyle. Good evening. My name is Amber Moyle. I use they, them pronouns, and I am the executive director of Polaris Music Prize. I wrote what I was going to say tonight after the first grand jury meeting where they deliberated this year's nominees. I'm not exaggerating when I say that it's an emotional journey every year. Most of you in the room are music lovers. And when I say music lovers, I mean we consider music to be a vital part of our life experience. If you're here tonight, I imagine at some point you've had a song shape your experience, transform your environment, capture a key memory, cause a physical reaction, made you reflect on a situation differently, influence your thoughts or perspectives, or connect, maybe even relate deeper to the world or people around you. To me, this is the definition of when music becomes art, and celebrating that is what Polaris is doing tonight. Our mission is to celebrate music as art and the artist who created it. All of the albums nominated tonight are exceptional instrumentally, but arguably just as important, had an impact on our jury. To our 220 jurors who continue to keep the Polaris universe revolving, thank you for your love of music. Thank you for your dedication to our mission. To the Polaris board who generally donates their expertise to guide the organization forward. This year, that actually included a strategic plan that we're going to be launching in the next few months for the next five years, which was no small undertaking. I want to thank each of our board members, Carla, Japneet, Robin, Tao, Miro, Alan, Eric, Donald, Susan, Gourmet, and Melissa, who also stands as our jury foreperson. Booking out Massey Hall and producing performances featuring 56 incredible artists is no small task or bill. Factor, financial support, is the only way we could do this each year. They help us pay all of our talented contractors and put this thing together. I want to thank those contractors now, along with all of the other financial partners who really contribute throughout the year. Sirius XM, Stingray, SOCAN, Canada Council, and the City of Toronto. In terms of those contractors I mentioned, please help me in giving a warm congratulations to Sonic Onion, headed by Tim Potisic, our creative light and stage director, Colby Richardson, Everyone at Massey Hall, with a special mention to Matt Letterman, <laughs> the Polaris team, Aaron Brophy, Stephen Dejeuner, Burke Hendricks, Anne Marie Smith, and Liz McKellen. You can rewatch tonight's performances thanks to our partners at CBC, whose team goes above and beyond to champion these shortlisters and the artists that they put out. CBC provides a massive amount of support to us through their radio, editorial, and on-site performance filming. They help bring the attention to these albums and artists that Polaris couldn't do without their support. Tonight marks the 19th Polaris Gala and Award Ceremony. Next year is a big one, a milestone for us, as we mark our 20th anniversary. I am pleased to share with you that we are going to be announcing the 2025 festival date right here back at Massey Hall on September 16, 2025. Woo! Consider this your safety date. After our next performer, we will be 
announcing our 2024 Polaris Music Prize winner. One of the 10 deserving shortlisted artists is going to take home $50,000 donated by the Slate Family Foundation. The money is an acknowledgement of the countless hours that they put towards these albums, and this is an opportunity for us to recognize these pieces of work. You may know our last performer from her famous jerk parties. We know her from Infinity Club, a genre hopping dance album that feels like the racks of play, pong to play the play the record have come to life. Let's get this dance party started. Everyone, I'm happy to welcome Bambi. Woo! 